Hey, it's Ryan with Long Crack, and in today's video, I wanted to crunch some numbers and show you new guys that are thinking about getting started in the lawn care business or just getting started how you can make $40,000 plus per year running a lawn mowing company only and you will start making $40,000 a year your first year and it'll just go exponentially up from there and as you can see from this line right here on the spreadsheet we're just using 60 customers so if you get 60 customers we're only looking at a lawn mowing company that is it I think that's the easiest way to break into the business and when you try to start adding on all these little other services they just distract you cause you to need other pieces of equipment and stuff like that and ultimately lower your profitability make the business less fun to run and make it harder to scale and all these kind of things so please stick with me on this and I think you will see great value in it and hopefully it brings some clarity and you can kind of just wrap your head around how the numbers work how much money you need to bring in how much time it's gonna take all the expenses and cover all these bases and then we get down to the nitty-gritty how much do you actually make is this worth it I think it's hundred percent worth it running my lawn care business has just taught me so much about business money people life in general and now I'm ready to, to move on to uh, other things and you know hopefully help out more people and provide more value and generate more money for myself my family to live my desired lifestyle but the lawn care industry is a, an absolute great way to learn business and all these fundamentals and I highly recommend it if you are thinking about starting a business just want to lose the boss lose all that structure and oversight and do your own thing and still live very comfortably it's it's a great way to do it so let's just go line by line as fast as we possibly can here and you are more than welcome to just pause the video and take a better look but I'm gonna try to make it as quick as possible and get you this information so we are you know mowing only one man solo operation owner operator whatever you want to call it so you need 60 customers so I have plenty of marketing videos there's plenty of other information out there on the internet there's lots of great youtubers that share all the same kinds of information that I share on the Lawn Crack channel. I, I really like a, a lot of these other guys doing it and I highly recommend you check out their channels as well. But 60 customers, so you know, five days a week we're looking at cutting 12 lawns a day at an average cut price of $40 per lawn in my area that's low and I think it's very manageable, manageable for a person that knows how to operate the equipment, knows what they're doing, somewhat tight routes smaller lawns based off a $40 price tag to cut 12 in a day uh, especially you need the right equipment I don't know if I just said that or not but yes you cutting that that 12 lawns with a push mower a day is gonna be crazy but we're not doing that in this example we are gonna buy you know a zero turn and a commercial walk behind in this example and I would recommend having a push mower on your truck just in case you need that as well so average number of cuts per year 30 so weekly lawns in I'm in the northern Kentucky greater Cincinnati area we cut the lawns about 30 times a year been doing this a long time that's that's the average around here so if you have um, 30 if you're cutting them 30 times at $40 a pop your customer value is going to be $1,200 per year so since you have 60 of these your revenue per year is going to be 70 Seventy-two thousand. So your business is going to bring in seventy-two thousand dollars. Obviously, it's going to cost you some money to make that that seventy-two thousand dollars. What I encourage you to do is look at your business like an investment. You are investing some money in all of these expenses to give you this return of uh, income generated from providing your service. So I, I love business as a, an investment vehicle because you know if you're looking at stocks or cryptocurrency or whatever you're looking at you you have so little control and there's so great fluctuation and it's really just a crapshoot at the end of the day but with business you are in control you make all the decisions 
you can do the things needed to be done and grow your business. It, it just comes down to, to wanting it and doing it. Action is required. So let's look at overhead expenses. So these are like <laughs> gonna be more, um, you know, whether you're doing business or not, you're gonna have these costs. That's why they're called overhead. Variable expenses kind of vary based off of like gas is a great variable expense. If you're not driving your truck or running your mowers, you don't have a gas expense. That's why it's a variable and not an overhead. So these uh, variable and overheads, I'm not saying these are like exactly in the right category, but for the most part, they're pretty good and a great, great baseline, especially for this, this initial get a, get a grasp on everything. So truck payment, I recommend getting a, a late model truck, couple years old, low mileage, everything looks good on it. You can get this for about $300 a month. Mower payments, in this, I have a, a brand new zero turn, a brand new walk behind, and bundle in a brand new trimmer and a brand new blower. Your dealer should be able to do that and you will not have to come out of pocket for these these expenses and that goes for the truck too i don't put money down on trucks i don't put money down on mowers now i just write a check and buy this kind of stuff but as you're getting started you're probably going to need to finance it and you don't have to come out of any money out of pocket you just you're going to take on you know for these two uh in particular six hundred dollars a month if, if you can't generate six hundred dollars a month in mowing uh grass to cover those expenses then this probably isn't the business for you so looking at rent expense, I uh, used $120 a month as um, a storage unit expense where you could potentially back your trailer into it with your uh, trimmer, blower, mowers, all that kind of stuff on it, drop it off, get your business out of your house. I recommend doing that, although I did run my business out of my house for several years and it was so convenient, but at, when you're doing that, it's like your, your house is your work and it kind of, uh, drains on you over time so you know if possible swing a, a storage unit that you can just back your trailer into and I just estimated this price I I haven't actually rented um, space through a storage unit to run my business I've rented locations before and stuff like that but that gets way more expensive insurance costs so you're gonna have insurance costs you're gonna need uh, commercial auto policy and uh, general liability insurance policy. So I used 150 a month for the truck and 50 for the business to get the 200 per month total, 2,400 per year. So phone, use my exact phone cost. Um, a lot of these things, guys, you can, you know, you have a truck payment, use that truck as your personal vehicle too. You have a phone for business, use that phone as your phone for personal use too. Um, that there's lots of benefits for owning a business. So advertising costs, I just put 600 bucks. Um, I'm assuming that you guys are on a budget starting a business. 600 bucks, you can get a nice amount of yard signs and door hangers printed up, and that should easily generate you 60 customers per year, which we're using in this um, example. And yeah, then you can get, get your word of mouth going by doing high quality work. If you're doing high quality work, people are gonna talk, you're gonna get neighbors, you're gonna get friends, you're gonna get family, you're gonna get coworkers. So, Doing high quality work is number one and being reliable, showing up week after week, imperative. Um, and then you can always just go door to door, knock and talk to people. It's free, take some time. Obviously, you know, the saying time is money, but when you're getting going and you have more time than money, use that. And I said, you can't be above this starting out. So don't be above that or don't be mad when your business doesn't take off. Okay, tax prep fees. Um, I recommend you do your, your bookkeeping yourself using QuickBooks. Uh, you can probably find some training videos online on how to set that up and get that going. And then just you know, keep that up to date on a, a you know, daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly basis, whatever. You're not gonna have a ton of expenses, money coming and going as you're getting your business going. So 800 bucks to have a, a CPA, you want a CPA to review your taxes and submit them for you. It's gonna lower your chance of an audit and they are probably gonna catch some stuff, uh, different kinds of incentives and savings and this and that, write-offs that you didn't know about and oftentimes they will save you more than their fee. So do not be afraid of this $800 fee and that's just an estimate. Um, you know, I, I paid my CPA, for example, $6,000 last year. 
So um, don't be afraid of these numbers. You, if you're making money, you're gonna have to spend money. It's not a big deal. Uh, local taxes and fees, so you're gonna need to be an LLC. Uh, definitely set up as an LLC. There's no reason not to. It's not that expensive in most states. I understand some, it does get kind of crazy like uh, I hear California is very expensive, but whatever. You're gonna, you're a business, act like a business, pay those fees. Uh, you're gonna need to get set up with your uh, county, your state, blah, 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 and then each locality, this is gonna be cities and counties that you work in are gonna uh, make you pay taxes based off the revenue you generate in those areas. Uh, during your accounting fees, like I said, do this yourself and then just have the CPA double check everything at the end of the year. Software and technology, I think this is all you need right here to get started. You can use QuickBooks Online, $26.95 a month. Service Autopilot on the basic starter plan, $47 a month. I would not bypass this and try to do this with an Excel sheet or something like that. Just do it right from the get-go and you're gonna be set up for success as you scale your business out and it'll just save you a lot of time and frustration moving forward and just make you much more professional in the interim. Uh, internet, you gotta have the internet to run your business. So, you know, obviously, internet's one of those expenses that you're also probably gonna use your internet for personal use. A little business owner bonus. Uniforms, you know, get yourself some t-shirts. I said, you know, five t-shirts, a hoodie, a jacket, a hat, uh, maybe even a polo or two, and you're gonna be, you know, right around 300 bucks. It's cheap. Uh, very easy to make yourself look more professional. Business coaching. So business coaching, um, I have zero here because as you're getting started, I would almost get a, a year or two or as long as you can go and get the feel for it by yourself. So you can go to a business coach with some data and some real life experience and then, and then take on this expense. I paid a business coach for several years Jim with Profit Solutions Group. I highly recommend them. You can find them on longcrack.com and make sure you tell them Ryan with Longcrack sent you over there and he will take care of you. He is, he, I mean, just really cares about his customers. He really knows business. Um, I, I don't really have anything bad to say about the guy. So meals, um, you can write off meals as a business owner. So do this legally, check with a CPA, you know, touch base with the CPA about preparing your taxes in the in the fall or well, not in the fall you know whenever taxes are due in, in April but um, <laughs> so you, you can write these off um, that, that it's I, I'm not gonna go into all these details but so uh, it used to be meals and entertainment now it's just meals and then you can only write off half of your meal expense and you have to follow all the guidelines so we're not gonna go into crazy details uh, charitable contributions I'm just keeping it at zero. You're getting your business started. Worry about contributing to charities once you get some money coming in. Parts, repairs, maintenance. So this should not be this high. I used 1800 for the year because you just bought all new equipment and you bought a sound used truck. So potentially this number should be much less than this. Gas, this gas number is probably high too. But to, to run this equipment and all that, you're gonna be spending money on gas. It's gonna add up to a couple thousand bucks. Don't freak out about it. Consumable items, um, you know, right off the top of my head, I'm thinking trimmer string, you're probably gonna need to buy some trimmer string again throughout the year, or maybe not. Uh, buy it in a five pound spool. It's something you're gonna use. Don't be buying little one pounds at a time and end up paying, you know, 80 bucks for five pounds after you buy five one pound things. Just get the five pound roll for 45, 50 bucks and it's gonna last you a while. Two cycle, I made a little video on two cycle. I think I just put it on Facebook though, but um, two cycle from Walmart is a dollar twenty three for a jug and makes three gallons a mix. I've never ever had a problem with any of my two cycle equipment, and I've only ran that since two thousand and nine. So uh, don't let anybody tell you different. You can buy the cheap mix and mix up your gas and oil, and your equipment's going to be fine. You don't need to buy the steel or whatever other brand you're thinking about buying because somebody told you you needed to. You don't. Contingency. Contingency is just a business term uh, for like safety net unexpected expenses. So especially in your first year, have a decent contingency because you never know what's gonna happen and what you're gonna need to get and blah, blah, blah. SEO is search engine optimization. The internet changes its algorithm, like specifically Google, all the time, uh, even more than once a day. 
Like literally more than once a day, Google's like, oh, we're gonna rearrange how we wanna rank things. And if your site is not updated, your site's gonna fall down in the rankings, no one's gonna be able to find you, and it's gonna be all bad for your business. So I recommend getting on like maybe a $100 a month plan or something, but it's gonna pay for itself, no doubt. Long Crack offers this. So if you want us to do this for you, let us know. We can customize this monthly amount. We could do 50, we could do 300, we could do 500, we could do whatever you're comfortable with. It's gonna basically tell us how much time we're gonna put into your site each month and we're gonna go through a checklist of most important things to make sure your website is optimized to rank in the search results and we are really, really good at that. So I'm assuming you didn't have a trailer to start off, so we're into one-time expenses. So we did uh, overhead, we did variable, and now we're just doing one time. You need to get this stuff to get started. So after the first year, you're, you know, you're gonna be making $4,200 more than you are in this first year. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let me hide that stuff down there. Okay, trailer. So you're gonna need a trailer. Um, I mean, I recommend getting a box truck, like a used U-Haul truck like I have. It's so much more efficient and in the, in the long term, it's gonna just pay for itself tenfold. But if you're just getting started, you know, maybe just do the whole truck and trailer thing and that's just way more easy, common, less expensive, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, $1,200, you can get a decent used trailer off of Craigslist. You can spend a little more and just get a brand spanking new trailer. I have $0 for trimmers and blowers. As uh, I referred to earlier, just bundle that in with your mower payment um, from your dealer. And you might, you might want to grab a, a cheap used one off of Craigslist for, a, you know, maybe 100, 150 bucks a pop uh, just to have as a backup. You know, that, that's up to you. But if, if you're an owner operator using your stuff, taking care of your stuff, your, your stuff's gonna be fine if it's brand new. Website, I put 1500 here. Lawn Crack will build you uh, as good as a website as you're gonna get anywhere for less than that. We are currently offering them for 1250. We're probably gonna go up to 1500 soon. It's probably gonna go up to 1750 after that, 2000 and up. So the sooner you get your website, the cheaper it's gonna be. But I honestly, I, I don't see anybody building websites with all the technical back-end stuff that you can't see getting done. Um, I, I don't have anything against anybody else building websites. I think we build the best websites. If they don't think they build the best websites, I don't know why they're building websites. So same thing, if, you, if you're cutting grass and you don't think you're the best grass cutter out there, why are you doing it? I don't know. Uh, truck graphics, I put 500 bucks. You definitely wanna logo, logo up your truck so the neighbors know when they see your truck parked in front of their neighbor's house, Who's mowing the grass and they can contact them, contact you. You know what I mean? Obviously they can ask their neighbors if you didn't have it, but just lose a, as much friction as possible. You could pick up customers driving from stop to stop with logos on your truck. So get this done. You can spend less than 500, you can spend more than 500, but 500 will get you a very professional, nice wrap installed, not wrap, but uh, you know, vinyls on your door, uh, truck bed, maybe you do your back window. I don't really recommend doing uh, the graphics over the window. I did it on my very first truck and it made the visibility out of the back window very poor and especially back in the trailer up at night, it made it difficult. So I, don't, I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, tools for repairs, just assuming you didn't already have this, go to Harbor Freight, get yourself a toolbox, get yourself a socket set, ratchet set, screwdrivers, blah, 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 all that stuff. For under 200 bucks, you're gonna have decent tools. If you take care of them, <clears throat> same thing with the trimmers, the blowers, all your equipment. When the owner is taking care of the stuff and the employees aren't beating the heck out of it, um, they last forever. I, I've been using Harbor Freight stuff forever and I rarely have a problem with it. Computer, highly recommend getting a decent computer. I'm thinking 800 bucks is, is plenty to get a decent computer in today's day and age. You can probably get it for less, but <clears throat> You, you know, obviously you're running a, a lawn care business. You, it's a, you know, service base out in the field doing work. But at the end of the day, you got you to come down, come back to the office. You got to invoice, you got to route, you got to schedule, you got to run service autopilot. You got to do all this stuff. Get a good computer, set yourself up for success. So basically in this, you know, you're, you're looking at $4,200 right off the rip to get going and probably a little more with uh, you know setting up your LLC and this and that, but whatever. Under five grand, you are in business, maybe six grand. <laughs> 
but whatever. Uh, see if you can borrow money from your parents or your friend or somebody you know, or you know, maybe maybe it's not a they just don't let you borrow it. Maybe it's some kind of a loan. Maybe you can get a business loan from a bank. <clears throat> I don't know. There's all kinds of options. If there's a will, there's a way. So our expenses are adding up to thirty thousand eleven hundred. Uh, seven hundred eleven dollars and forty cents in this example i think these are very realistic numbers if anything these numbers are high if you remember the total revenue was seventy two hundred total expenses so that leaves you with forty one thousand two hundred and eighty eight dollars and sixty cents in your first year in business with just sixty customers buying everything you need paying all the expenses and yeah i think that's very reasonable very realistic and I hope you are getting excited at this point. So, what you keep, what you keep after paying 25% in taxes, so 25% of your profit. So, you know, you hear that it's a it's a tax write off. It's a tax write off. So the government's not going to tax you based off of 72,000. They're going to base base your taxes off of this number because this is your profit. So. Assuming you're in a 25% tax bracket, you're down to this number as actual money you keep. So think about this as gross on a paycheck. Think about this as net on a paycheck. And <clears throat> if you if you get these things two things confused, the way I remember it is gross is gross because that is what you would have kept and made and had if the government didn't take their cut. But guess what? The government takes their cut and there's nothing you can do about it. So. Uh, don't complain about that. So before taxes, so if we just take this uh, retained money, so in a in an LLC or a sole prop, it's called a flow through entity. So the money's just flowing through to whoever is the person behind that business. That's going to be you in this case. So this is basically like your wages, uh, give or take. Um, in in essence, better is a better word. So if we take this number, which you know is gross, which is if somebody says I make. $40,000 per year. They're talking about gross. They're not talking about net. So this would be like your weekly paycheck. If you worked for a company uh, working 40 hours a week, 52 weeks a year, and I put that right here. So it's basically like you're making nineteen eighty-five an hour. So I believe that is pretty good money to most people. Um, money is just absolutely skewed in my mind because I've just read too many books, I mean, I'm not saying too many books, but um, I, I see the ability to make money in this world as endless, and I'm so happy I am alive at this time, this period in time with the internet and everything that's happening right now, and I hope you are too. So things to note, I just want to note a couple things. I know it's getting kind of long, but I hope you see a lot of value in this video, and I'd be happy to provide this spreadsheet if people want to take this and modify this to your specific needs, but let's just go down this list right here. Um, things to note, in many areas, the season's not year round. So you still have three more months to generate more money in some other way. You could potentially get a seasonal job, a part-time job, uh, just a full-time job over the winter. You know, Amazon's great for that. Uh, FedEx, UPS, all those places that are shipping and people are ordering stuff for the holidays. They always need people over the winter. So think about that. I wouldn't recommend that. I'd recommend finding uh, another income stream. What can you do? to provide value to people, a product or service that people will be willing to pay you money. You can do this, you know, get this thing really going over the off season or use your nights and weekends. If guys, if you want to be successful, you are going to have to dedicate the majority of your time awake to making money. That's the bottom line. I just I think most people are not willing to do it. Um, that's just my my personal opinion. That's just kind of an observation of of watching people in life. Um, you know, it, it's whatever. It's, it's no difference to me. It just it makes makes it easier for people like me, and I hope it makes it easier for people like you. So uh, I already mentioned this: the forty two hundred dollars in one time expenses goes away after the first year. So you're already second year. You're sitting to make forty five k, not changing anything else because you lost those one time expenses. Okay, so twelve lawns per day for one person that knows what they're doing with the right equipment is very manageable at forty dollars a cut. And forty dollars a cut is low, so skip one. Or forty dollars a cut is low in our area. Um, you know, I know these prices vary from area to area, but forty is low in our area. 
um, once you prove to these people that you're going to show up every week and you do a great job for that first season, to come back and say it's going to be $45 to cut your grass next year, it's going to be nothing to them. And let's hop back up to the top of the spreadsheet and take a look at what happens if you do $45 per lawn. And don't even add another lawn. Um, so real quick, we missed this one. If there's a rain day, you can work longer hours during the week and catch up on the weekends. So 12 lawns a day, you know, say you got rained out on Monday, then you cut uh, two lawns, two more lawns, Tuesday through Friday. That's eight, 12 minus eight is four. So you'd have four lawns left on, on Saturday. Is that gonna kill you? I hope not. Okay, so in my opinion, the expenses on this sheet are high, if anything. So if you can get a little frugal, I like being frugal, not cheap. Um, if you can get a little frugal, you can uh, potentially make more money right off the bat. Um, kind of touch on some of these added bonuses of being a business owner. Like you can just use your truck for personal use, do it legally, very important. Um, you also have got a computer in this example, a phone, tools, internet, um, all this stuff that's going to be used outside of business too, but your business is paying for it. That's not actually coming out of the money you keep. That is such an added bonus of owning a business. And then remember, um, you have to eat. So make sure you write off some of these expenses. Like take advantage of this. Don't don't let it just go to waste. And yeah, you'll you'll be happy you did. You can. I, I'm not going into the details on that. That just make this video too long. So we're gonna come back up here to 45. We're gonna change the average cut price to 45. So we went from 40 to 45. Let's look at this cell right here. What is gonna to happen to it? Boom, we're up to 81,000 by raising the price, 45 bucks. Let's come back down to the profit down here. And now you are over 50 grand. So if, you just, if your average cut price was $5, $5 higher, you're making 50 grand. Um, you know, and that's why I love these spreadsheets. Let's say you added 10 more lawns and you raised the price five bucks. Now you are making $64,000 almost per year. And you, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's just amazing. Um, that's why I love this industry. That's why I got into it. And you know, I, I just, I'm taking everything I learned and I'm putting that into lawn crack. I have some other businesses I own, but my passion is still this. And then just before I let you go, <clears throat> just wanted to let you know, we do website design and SEO. You can find more information on this stuff at lawncrack.com. Um, I wrote the book on cracking the code to profit because I read a book very similar to this. It was actually just printed off of the internet. Uh, my dad bought it for me, paid $100 for it. My book is for sale for much less than that and is it contains so much more information it's not even funny i still have the original um thing my dad bought me and i just pulled it out found it when i moved and it is a joke but it got me going it got me thinking and i think you would find a lot of value in this book if you read it i would love to hear the feedback and talk about it with you please contact me if you read it email me, call me, all my contact information is on lawncrack.com. You will get me personally as I am growing the business. I am answering the phone and returning emails and all that kind of stuff. I do have a team in the process of being built and I'm delegating tasks, but as for now, I do the communications. Uh, and if you didn't know, we have the best price on the best Valky out, the Pro Slide XT. I have, since I started my business, I have never used another Valky. We have four of these right now. They're on every walk behind we have. I don't understand why more people are not using it, um, but we are an authorized dealer. They're for sale at longcrack.com. Can't get a better price anywhere. You can search all you want. You're not gonna find a better price, and in my opinion, you're not gonna find a better Velky. Um, so yeah, we have the resource section at longcrack.com, and I am adding to it as quickly as I can. There is a nice amount of information already on it that I highly recommend you check out if you are trying to grow a profitable lawn care business. And you already know what it is. Keep making money. Until the next video, have a great day. Bye.